Hey everybody, I'm Troy Sessions and once again, join us on our next expedition up to the Brooks Range. We're after the doll, sheep, caribou, and grizzly bear. Most pilots would agree that landing in a crosswind is hard enough. Add landing on a ridge top like Dave's doing here, 10 mile an hour crosswind. Hang on. What's going on right here is I just got busted out in the open. Now that top ram sees me, but before the other two could, I laid down real quick. Right here, I'm laying flat with the camera up and just rolling film. They're in front of me now, about 300 yards away is all. I'm happy. Ought Look what we did. That is an ass kicker of a sheep. <laughs> we went all day looking for them sheep. We were really wishing we'd have brought our bows with us right here, because this bull presented a great opportunity for a bow shot. Good job again, dude. Good job. Finally got us a boo. <laughs> we think they're right over the top here. We're gonna go look at them. Be quiet. Now we've pulled out the rangefinder, ranged these rams at between 350 and 370 yards. Yeah, at least 13. Curl on the, about a curl on the quarter, I think, or better. Right there's full curl. <laughs> oh Another gosh. five inches past. He's almost, he looks, he's full curl from the broom side. Isn't that something? Wow. <laughs> Look at this, he's coming up here at me. Look at that, he knows I'm here and he's still coming. And I'm not too worried about him either. He's just trying to get downwind to see what kind of critter I am. We decided to
motto on this trip is you can't get lucky if you don't try harder. So keep trying and uh, one day luck's going to come your way as well. Yeah, and the philosophy, you got to make your own luck sometimes. Make your own luck and this is what you call sweat equity right here. <laughs> With a little bit of luck. <laughs> With a little bit of luck. Grab a bar to land on. Something safe enough for both of us to land with a load. This is bush flying at its finest, landing on these wild gravel bars where nobody else has ever landed before. Well, once again, once they get in front of you, there's no catching back up to them, and that's just what happened right here. Yep. But not to worry, we're in a good pinch point. Wow, All we got to do is wait for the next band of caribou to come our way. I think this caribou hunt is pretty darn fun. <laughs> Heart's pumping, crisp morning air, frost on the leaves. Caribou there, and bulls just went over the top over there. And I already broke a sweat. Yep. See, this is living right here. Just you pick one, I'll get the rest. Whatever's left. I need to know which one you're gonna shoot. The velvet one. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it'll work. And you can tell that uh, we've had a lot to choose from here. We saw wave after wave after wave of caribou. And uh, this group here had the best seen so far you don't see well I've seen actually three double shovel ones but not like that big big hands like that yeah sandy that's good would you shoot this caribou thanks Dave yes sir okay he's fourth back he's the fourth one back fifth one back he's got a little crony right in front of him him here He's opened up. That's him. That's a nice bull. That's dandy. I like all these extra little kickers and points on them. This long one here, and he's even got a little point of it. Look at that. Look at those fingers there. Double shovel. Look at that. That is nice. You don't see that all the time. No. We could have shot ten. We figured three caribou was enough. No doubt about it. Look at that. Nice. Look at that. Got a little wet for that one, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. That's a 25 pound fish. Yep. Yeah. Thank you.